Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, uh, YouTube friends. Um, so uh, recently, I've been riding uh, both of these bikes. Um, I would say an equal amount, just taking the uh, Street Bob up to Arrowhead Harley Davidson to show off the new pudgy bars and the slip-ons. Um, and and then of course this being my bike, um, I'm just, I, you know, if I need to go somewhere or do something, I'm taking the slim. Uh, but there was a, a point last week where um, Micah Dean from Dean Speed Customs came over and uh, we, we, we went to lunch, we rode, it was about five miles, both way, you know, five miles back forth. And uh, I rode the street bob to the, uh, to the sandwich place um, and he rode the slim and then we switched and after lunch and rode back um, and he was on the uh, street bob. And he, uh, he mentioned that he thought the street bob might have a little bit different gearing being that it seems a little more peppy. Um, and I can say that more recently, being that I've been riding both of these equally, I've kind of noticed a similar feel. Um, so I decided to take both these bikes out today and uh, run them uh, both at th uh, 30 miles an hour in third gear and 40 miles an hour in fourth gear. And what I can tell you is the results are that the gearing is identical. There is no difference in RPM uh, at those speeds. So they are the same. Now, what differences between these bikes can attribute, uh, can make it feel like something's, you know, quicker, if you will, or maybe have a, you know, peppier kind of punch? Well, weight would be one thing. Um, I did a little bit of research and the dry weight on these motorcycles is about a 10 pound swing. Now the wet weight on these motorcycles is about a 30 pound swing. And I'm gonna have to attribute that to fuel capacity, uh, maybe a couple other things, I don't know, but uh, probably fork, larger forks, maybe in the front on the slim, more fluids. Whatever the case is, we'll call it 30 pounds. Um, I think that when you're dealing with something like this, a 77 Yamaha that's got a handful of horsepowers and a handful of torque, you're going to notice 30 pounds. I think when you are dealing with bikes this big, 30 pounds probably isn't going to be that notable. I mean, maybe, but you know, for how much I'm noticing and how much Micah was noticing, I, I don't think it's weight. So there was one other thing I kind of reflected on, and that was um, that I didn't seem to feel that Anthony's bike, the Street Bob, was peppier than the Slim when it had the stock bars on. Uh, I've also noticed that since we've gotten the pudgy bars, um, I have... I mean, it, it's for lack of a better expression, I would say I have less throttle control. It's more choppy um, and on off. So what I think my theory is, is that it's body position is what makes these two bikes feel like one's a couch and one's a rocket, you know? You got forward control floorboards and low slung bars. And by the way, my throttle control on this slim is spot on. It's it's like a scalpel. I mean, I can I know exactly where I want to be on the revs on D cell and on acceleration and shift points. Um, I can downshift two to three gears and hit a left turn on a green arrow and it'll be spotless. Um, but on this guy, it's a little more shaky. And I think it's because this is a neutral riding position, but on this one, your arms are outstretched in front of you. Um, I'm five foot five, so these these twelve inch bars are straight. You know, my hands are straight across from my shoulders horizontally. Plus, it's got mid controls, so it's a more aggressive stance for the rider. Um, so that is my theory. Aside from a thirty pound difference, the major difference between these bikes is obviously they're 
their layout as far as um, their riding position. Um, so yeah, so there you have it. Um, other than that, um, in process is a, is a Dean Speed Customs 15-inch uh, sissy bar for the slim with a passenger pad that's gonna match the stitching on both of these. I'm really stoked to get that on here and show you guys because I think it's gonna look really cool. Um, I was wondering if, uh, you know, if you guys are still sticking uh, in this video this long and you haven't already hit the like button or subscribe, go ahead and do that. But leave a comment for me what you think this bike, how you think this bike would look with a set of white walls. I'm not gonna rush out and buy new tires because these tires are perfectly fine, but when the time comes, and I replace them. I'm wondering, with the blue and the black and the chrome, what do we think about white walls on this thing? Too much or perfect for its uh, for the time period it's reaching out? All right, guys, as always, stay safe out there. We'll see you soon.